and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, it's Tuesday. You know what that means. We got the brand new Team of the Week cards, guys. So I'm pretty excited. Um, one card specifically they have released early that they've announced to us, and I'm super excited for this card. This has been long awaited. This year, every year, this card is one of the most athletic guys on your team. He's super, super touted for like everyone's super excited for every time he comes out. He had a bit of a complication this year in the regular season, which is why he did not come out yet, guys. But I'm super excited. I'm gonna go over to Twitter to show you guys the stats once we get into this video. I also, after that, gotta go to the Madden stream to go get screenshots and show you guys everything else that they're gonna be releasing at two o'clock today. But you guys, before we get into the video and go over all the new team of the week content, the set pieces, the LTDs, and everything, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys. Join on the turn on the notification bell. Come join the family, boys. We're getting close to 11k. Let's get let's, okay, let's get the grind going to 20k. Come join the family, boys. 20k is our next big milestone. Let's hit it as soon as possible by Christmas if we could. If you guys haven't already, comment down below. Say what's up. Let me know what you guys think of these limited time cards and these new team of the week cards. And also make sure to hit that like button, boys. Get this video to 200 likes. All the loyals, all the OGs, all the new guys. Hit that like button, boys. Best way to show support is always to hit that like button. Now, as far as the team of the week stuff, there's gonna be a lot to cover, a lot of screenshots I'm gonna have to show you guys. So let's get on over to Twitter, show you guys the first card that we're working with, and then go on from there. So let's get on over to Twitter. So the first card, guys, is Patrick Peterson. Yes, that's who I was talking about. I know everyone's super excited for a new Pat P card. Every year, we want that Pat P card. He's always super expensive, but I don't think he'll be too expensive this year because all the team of the weeks, they get pulled pretty easily. So people typically sell these for pretty cheap. Now, the reason Pat P hasn't gotten a card yet was because of, you know, he was suspended for six games, but he did just come back. I guess he must, I didn't actually know what he did. He must have balled out if he came back and already got team of the week card. I mean, they did beat the Giants. I don't know what he did in that win. I thought I would have heard his name if he had done something really good. I have to look up his stats after this, but super exciting. I'm going to probably put him on the team. I need to have a Pat P card on the team. He is really fast. He's really athletic. That's always the beauty of this card. Really cool card art, to be quite honest with you. Patrick Peterson, 91 over a cornerback. He's got the lockdown chain um, archetype. Could obviously be power. I'll probably power him up to 92. Now, this card's base stats. He's 6'1", 41 salary cap. So he's tall, which is good for cornerback. He has 89 speed, 89 excel, 92 agility, 92 jumping. Those stats are literally insane. 87 play rep, really good. 90 man, 87 zone, 90 press. Now you power this guy up. He's going to have 90 speed, 90 excel, 93 agility, 93 jumping, 88 play rec, 91 man, 88 zone coverage, 90 press. Then you put the lockdown cam on him. He will have like a 93 zip man, a 91 zone, a 90 play rec, a 92 press. And you put John Madden passing on this card's going to be ridiculous. I'm super excited. He's gonna be uh, he's gonna be like if you took Willie Brown and made him uber athletic, you'd get when a little bit taller, I think. You'd end up getting him. I'm super excited for this card, guys. Now let's go check out all the rest of the set pieces. I mean, I don't think anything's gonna compare to this Pat Pete. A limited time's not gonna excite me as much, but a new Pat Peterson card, super I'm super hyped for that. Cannot wait to see what the rest of these drops, guys. And let's gonna head over to the stream, then I'll show you guys all the screenshots. Alright, guys, so I showed you guys obviously Pat Pete. I'm going to show you guys these. You obviously just saw Kyle Rudolph. I'm going to show you guys the piece sets first. So starting from the bottom, we got Alex Erickson. You guys probably compare to see their stats, but I'll tell you. Alex Erickson has an 83 speed, and that's his only good stat. Kind of a worthless card. Troy Apke has a 90 speed at free safety, guys. Honestly, if you needed a budget beast kind of free safety that just needed speed to catch up to people. Not a horrible card if you're on a budget budget, but not too great. Jeffrey Simmons in 79 left end. All he has is an 84. Uh, well, this is strength. The card's kind of ass. Zach Pascal, wide receiver for the Colts. He has an 84 speed, 83 jumping, and an 80 catching. Card's not great at all. I don't know why they make these low-tier guys so bad. D.D. Westbrook has an 87 speed. Not horrible, but if you're going to go budget B speed receiver, you could easily go like John Brown or Marquise Brown for the speed instead. We got Reggie Wagler, middle linebacker for the Chiefs. He literally has an 87 hit power. Uh, 87 hit power, 80 play rec, 81 block shed, 83 excel. But his speed is 78. That's kind of a useless middle linebacker. And then we got, and finally, we got a Nick Bosa, which if you guys have the Rick Premier, you will be getting him for free. You will upgrade automatically into your binder. 83 overall right end, 6 foot 4. He's got 87 acceleration. He's got 80 strength, and that's the only 80 stats he has. His card's disgusting. I don't know why they thought that this was a good drop. Nick Bosa's has definitely been playing way better than that. Then we got Lat Murray. He did go off this week. He has 86 speed, 88 excel, 84 agility, 84 carrying, 59 catching, and then he's got 82 truck. And the card's decent, but the speed is way too low, even though I know it's Lat Murray, but he's still not that slow. Then for the main piece, we got Kyle Rudolph, six foot six. I don't really know what he did, to be honest. Let's probably look up these stats before. Um, I mean, not that you guys really care. 73 speed, 71 strength. That speed's way too low. That's slower than Jason Witten. 92 catching, which is really good. 84 catching traffic's too low. 87 spec catch is decent. 80 short route running is decent, but that's it. He can't run block. He's too slow. 
worthless tight end. I don't know why they drop worthless cards. Like, this Kyle Rudolph with a decent, like, maybe 79 speed could have probably been, like, useful for people. I guess if you're on a Vikings theme team, you could rock with him. Even then, you probably won't be happy about it. Let's see. Next, we got Chase Edmonds. For all you David Johnson fantasy owners, you guys do not like this. Chase Edmonds went off this week. I know he had like three touchdowns, like 150 yards, 86 speed, 89 excel, 88 agility. He's super quick, but the speed's so low. If you gave this guy an 89 speed, this card would be an awesome budget beast right now. 85 carrying, and you guys, this could have been a very good budget beast if EA did not botch their speed. 88, 89 speed, this card would have been very, very useful, but this is EA we're talking about. Next, we got Darius Leonard, uh, one defensive rookie of the year last year. This card's a beast. I mean, I haven't looked at the card. I mean, the guy's a beast. But this card is 6'2", 80 speed, 81 excel, 69 strength, 90 tackle. So far for downtown linebacker, that's not too bad. 80 block shed. If he can play zone pretty well, this is not a bad card at all, to be honest with you. Uh, I've been looking for a zone linebacker, though I can't replace him on Miller, but still. If you could power this guy up and stuff, his play rack won't be too bad. His speed will be decent, excel, decent block. He's a decent all-around card. If you're a cold steam team, you're probably loving this card right about now. I don't really know how many of you guys are rocking cold steam teams, but you guys get the point. Let's see what we got next on the list. We got, so we got Blake Martinez is the other 87. He is seven, a 79 speed middle linebacker. That, that just kills it right there. Like 80 hit power, 85 block shot, 85 tackle, 86 play rec, 84 acceleration. You give him an 83 speed, this is a worthwhile budget, a more budget style, style middle linebacker. But when we can get guys like Devin Bush for free as a rookie premier. We got Devin White for free out of the solos. Ray, uh, Ryan Shazier, the new Ray Lewis. There's no need for a guy like Blake Martinez in this game. Not too happy about that. And then for the other hero, the offensive hero, and Pat Peterson was a defensive hero. Offense hero, we got Marvin Jones. He's got 87 speed, 88 jumping, 87 catching, 88 catch traffic, 94 spec catch, 80 short route running, 87 medium route running, 91 deep route running. Now, good jumping, really good catching stats. This guy powered up is going to have like a top, top tier spec catch. It's going to be crazy. Probably 90 catching traffic, close to 90 catching. His route running honestly isn't too bad considering it's a Marvin Jones card. Above 91 deep route running, he's going to probably hit the threshold for medium route running. The speed is kind of killer. If you, if you give this guy an 88 to 89 speed, this card's awesome. But I mean, solid card, honestly, if you guys did use him as like just an outside guy that can catch, he's really not horrible. Kind of reminds me of a better DeAndre Hopkins, but not exactly my top choice. Now, next on the list is the limited time, guys. Now, I didn't want to say this guy would get a card because he already has a kickoff card, but clearly it looks like EA really picks these guys based on who has the most fantasy points. Like, yeah, here you go. Aaron Rodgers. I just didn't expect it. I really didn't because, like I said, it looks like EA does it all fantasy points. To give a card to Marvin Jones, one of the highest fantasy scorers, Chase Edmonds, one of the highest fantasy scorers, like, it literally looks like they picked the offensive players all fantasies, uh, fantasy scoring. I'm not even joking because Aaron Rodgers had the most fantasy points in fantasy this week. I didn't think they'd give it to him because he has a 91 kickoff, but this card is looking pretty good. I'll go over all the stats in one second. He's 62 salary cap. He's limited time, obviously, so he does not go. I don't think he's a part of Aaron Rodgers' power-up chain. Come Series 3, you could probably get him on a Redux for really, really cheap. So stay on the lookout for that. He had 429 yards, 6 touchdowns. That's pretty unreal. He, he definitely deserved the limited time. I just didn't quite know if they'd give it to him. He's got he's 6 foot 2. He's got 77 speed, 92 throw power. So throw power is solid. Throw accuracy short, solid. Cal, chemmed up, he'll have above 90 deep, solid. High mid, I wish the mid was slightly higher. Throw under pressure is a little low. Throw in the run, solid play action, no one cares about. So this guy's going to hit almost all the passing thresholds with decent speed, really good throw power. Now, this card's kind of like Andrew Luck. I think this card's still insane. It is Aaron Rodgers. Everyone loves Aaron Rodgers. One of the fastest releases in the game. Always a fun card to use. Really excited about him. But it kind of reminds me of Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck's a similar card. Andrew Luck actually a little faster, though. I guess it all depends on the abilities he can get. Imagine he can get Escape Artist. I don't think he can. Not like it matter with the 77 speed. But Escape Artist doesn't really seem like it applies to speed in the backfield. I feel like everyone has the same speed in the backfield. I think it's after you cross line of scrimmage, that's when your speed applies. So if, as long, pretty much if any card with this kind of throwing stats can get Escape Artist, like Andrew Luck or a new Pat Mahomes or something, he's going to be insane because Escape Artist essentially gets you out of the backfield fast. And then what you do after that is based on their speed. So as long as you can get them out of the backfield and get yourself that gain or that, that escape, with good passing stats or like roaming Deadeye guys, it's over. It's over if you could throw on the run and escape like that with roaming dead eye it's gonna be it's gonna be a gg so kind of hype if aaron Rodgers could get it. i don't think he can but i know that in the future guys like aaron Rodgers and pat mahomes could essentially get it now let's head back over to the mountain screen guys all right so that is about it for the video guys thank you so much for watching if you're new to the channel make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell come join the family boys we're growing quickly come join let's get to 20k as quickly as possible and for the time being let's get to 11k comment down below what you guys think of these cards and what you guys if you guys plan to pick up any of these if you guys do intend to do so and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up let's get this video to 200 likes guys thank you for all the recent support you guys have been killing it with the support the likes the comments and everything thank you guys for everything 
And as far as the Halloween costume goes, you guys are voting on. I hope to pick one up this week. If I can, if I find something that I like, I will pick one up. Hopefully, I can so I can have it on video for you guys. But that's about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.